In this video, we're going to look at how you can find people in your Google Photos library. And that's something that is called facial recognition. So you need to make sure that you have turned that setting on. Now I'm using Google Photos on the web. So go into settings, into the main menu, settings. Group similar faces should be turned on. Face groups are unique to your account. They're not shared and they're only visible to you. It just makes searching for people in your photos that much easier. Go back and into the album view where you'll see people as one of the search folders that you can search for. And the number of people that you see in this area depends on how long your photos library has been active. If you've just activated Google Photos and you haven't got very many photos there, it's going to take time before the people start to appear. So one day there's nothing there, the next day you'll find lots of them. So within the albums view, you will find a folder called People. And this is every face that can be seen, recognized in a photo, even a group photo. So some of these pictures, if I find, uh, pick this one, that person has been recognized from a group photo and there's very little photos of that person anywhere else. It just, they just appear in that one place. There's also a photo there that doesn't belong with that face group and you can remove that result from that face group by going up to the more options menu up here and remove results. I'm going to remove that one because it obviously doesn't belong with that person's face and remove. Now, the other thing you can do with a face is also label it, which just means you can search later by that label. So if I search for Philip, it should bring up all photos with Philip in it rather than having to come to this people uh, search folder and click on the face. Let's try it. So if I was just in my photos library, and search for Philip, and it's already brought up that label. You can just select it, and it'll provide all the photos of Philip. Let's go back in here. So, if you want to assign a label to a photo, then pick a photo. I'm just going to pick this one, and you get the opportunity to add a private label to search by name. So, I can click on who's this and put in the name of the person, and done. And if we go back, that person has now been moved from this big mass of faces into the photos at the top there, which have a label. Now you can change the picture that represents the face group of that person. You can remove the label if you think you don't want to have it there. Go back into it and clicking the pencil there, you can change the name if you've typed it incorrectly can change the picture by doing this and picking another picture of that person. So even though uh, that person is part of a group, I might want to have a different picture. So if I select this one, then that picture now is changed to the picture that it finds in that group. Now you can also do that up here. Change the feature photo. You can edit the name. You can remove the name or you can remove the results. So if there was anything in here that wasn't that person, I could remove it, but they're all accurate. So editing the name is the same as picking that pencil and changing the feature photo, which was the same process as just clicking on the camera. Now sometimes the Google Photos will not recognize a face as being the same person. Now, this one here, Nicholas Courtney, is just a, an actor in Doctor Who. There's a, a picture of, of Nick over here, which is an older version, and they should be together. We don't want separate face groups for the same person. So when I click on that one, and I can add a label, and it even finds it anyway. So that's Nicholas Courtney. And it's saying, are these, pe are these the same person? Because if you say yes, then they'll merge them together. I'm going to say yes. 
and now there's a, a huge a search result for that person, which is accurate. You can see there's this older older Nick and younger Nick. And if we go back to photos, the older face has gone now and it's part of this one. So you can merge face groups together when you find that is incorrect. So there's a there's another one here. This one's a baby picture of this person. So if I was to click on here and put the name in, and as I start typing the name, it's finding the, the names that it knows. It's that person. They need to be merged together. Now, when you look at my photo collection here, I've got a lot of screen captures from um, Doctor Who episodes that I don't really want to have as part of my people search folder. So I can hide people from the people search group altogether. So you can do that from the more options up here, show and hide people. And when I go into here, I've already done some of them, but I can just click on all of those photos that I really don't want to ever be searching on and remove them so that the only photos, the only people that are left are those people that are friends, family, people that are likely to be searching for. Let's do some of them. And you can see the ones that are hidden because they're slightly grayed out. If you want to unhide them, you just click it again and done. And uh, it's starting to narrow down a bit now. There's still a few more that I need to do, but those are all people that I'd like to be able to find. So when you want to find somebody, you either click on their face to find all the results. You can add a label. to make it easier to search for that person in the search bar because I'm not always in this album view in the people album. I might be just in photos, scrolling through my photos and I'm trying to find a particular photo with Karen in it. So when I click up here, I can click Karen and it will bring up all those pictures of her in it. It's just a, a shorter process of finding photos from that photos view 